Hi, I'm Gyok Tri, CEO of Bridge Alliance. So Be In Conversation series is a platform that we have created to have a conversation with our partners, operators, technology partners, as well as customers. Through such conversation, we open up new opportunities and deepen our collaboration to propel our industry forward. Today, I'm very happy to have Vicky Abhishek with me. And Vicky is the CTO of Coca-Cola Asia Pacific Group and the bottling investment. That's Welcome, Vicky. Thanks, thanks, Dokchi. Very good to have you. So I think we probably can't find anybody who haven't consumed this, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, but we may not know Coca-Cola as well, beyond just drinking Coke. So maybe, Vicky, you can help our audience understand a bit more of the spread of uh, your company, right? Sure. The products and sure. where your aspirations are. Sure. So right. we are just 135 years old. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, of course, iconic brand for beverages. And our, our mission is to, you know, refresh the world and make a difference in the communities we operate. Mm. We operate all over the world, uh, except for perhaps one, one, or one or two countries where uh, we don't have presence. Right. Uh, we, we have over 3,000 brands. So of course, Coke is our iconic brand, uh, right. uh, you know, the, the classic Coca-Cola. Yes. But we do uh, coffee, we do juices, uh, water, uh, milk is a big um, oh. growth category in, in, in the U.S., which is our Fairlife brand. So we have been diversifying our, our product portfolio and offering all kinds of beverages to our consumers uh, to meet their different choices mm. and different preferences. Right. Um, and it has been a fantastic journey for the company to be part of the, uh, the, the consumer experience. And from an IT standpoint, now we are looking uh, for the last few years, we have been in a massive transformation journey mm. to, to, f to move to the new, new set of technologies and enabled cloud-powered, cloud-empowered uh, platforms right. uh, where we can, we can in further enhance and en enrich our reach to our consumers right. and deliver our mission. <coughs> I see. <coughs> so. Vicky, in the last 12 months, right, most of us have experienced uh, a speed of transformation that we have never had before. So as the CTO, what were the challenges that you have to grapple with when the world spins into this new normal? Sure. So, uh, I mean, the first thing is because we had been on a massive journey of cloud adoption and digitizing our enterprise, mm. uh, it was fairly seamless for us to switch over in working remotely. Oh. Um, of course, our production facilities and our plants, we had to make adjustments, but for most of the enterprise, uh, switch over to work remote was fairly easy. That's and lucky for you. unnoticeable. <laughs> because of all the hard work done before, right? Right. Platforms, engineering work, which we did earlier to simplify our environments. Um, and, but when we started realizing that our focus shifted to protect our communities, which is including our workers, our frontline salespeople, our uh, factory workers, our operators on the ground, uh, we focused on their well-being and, and their uh, sustenance in a difficult uh, environment. Uh, and then we kind of build upon it uh, to, uh, to start looking at how we can be, we can change some of our processes Mm. and go more touchless and, and contactless and, and, and automate more deep, faster right. uh, uh, to, to uh, enable the, the business transactions in the change environment. Right. Uh, we saw a massive uptick on uh, e-commerce, on our B2B and B2C, you know, direct-to-consumer uh, channels as well. Mm. Um, people started ordering more online and, and consuming. Cons consumption shifted from uh, on-prem, which is like in restaurants and malls and, and shopping centers to at home. Right. That's, a diff that's another uh, significant change mm. uh, which we experienced uh, during this pandemic time. Right. Um, so massive growth on e-commerce, uh, move, move, movement of uh, you know, consumption at home increased uh, quite a lot. Right. And, and uh, now we are seeing things kind of settling into a more regular rhythm. We had a fantastic last quarter and the first quarter of this year. And, and I hope th the things are keep going up from here. Mm, right. So in this uh, shift <coughs> in terms of consumer behaviours and how we work remotely, you know, weaving, uh, with a distributed workforce, I'm sure uh, technology plays a key part, sure. right? 
And what's your view about emerging technology that might then open up new possibility for all of us, whether in the way we work or the way we serve our community and our consumers? Sure. Mm. So absolutely. And, and consumer is at the center of all our activities, right? Mm. Uh, we continuously thrive as an organization to have deeper and better understanding of a consumer, their tastes, their preferences, right. their choices, and cater to them through our product. Uh, you know, and product supply, deliveries, back in all the mm. supply chain processes are targeted at that. So knowing more about consumers and and building that more deeper granular uh, understanding of the consumers, promoting our products across all the channels where consumers are present today, which is most of it is now digital, mm. um, and be, you know, doing like things like program prog uh, programmatic advertising, mm. uh, looking at, uh, you know, digitizing our entire supply chain mm. so that we can be more, uh, you know, agile in the way we, we deliver our products to the consumer and be more, uh, have more sustainable supply chains. Right. You know, more more eco green ecosystems. I mean, I don't know if you saw recently, we have stopped using what we call as virgin plastics in U.S. anymore, Ooh. which means we are recycling all the plastic which we are using. Right. We are already, uh, re, you know, returning more water mm. in to the communities where we are operating than what we are using for our production plants. Oh. So we are water positive. And right. So all these things are actually, in, 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 you know, aligned with our vision to to make a difference in our communities where we operate. Right. That's interesting. And as Telco, we are always very bullish about emerging tech, right? Sure. And we are very excited about 5G. So across uh, Bridge Alliance footprint, many of our operators have started deploying 5G and some has already started like 12, 18 months ago. What's your view of what 5G may bring to the way you operate your business, right? Whether your supply chain or even remote work. Because Vicky, I know you are a uh, <coughs> visionary, right? You have already moved uh, from fixed line to mobile uh, way back uh, when people are still exploring. So with 5G, what are the new things that in your imagination you know, is possible? Sure. And Telco can work together with you even more closely. Excellent. Thank yeah. you very much, Goethe. So right. one of the things, uh, before I talk about 5G, one thing I want to address is Telcos, in my view, uh, they are the uh, biggest data custodians in the world now. Right. And the whole, whole approach of the businesses, digital approach of the businesses is to monetize the data. So I think Telcos have a huge head start. You know, imagine one uh, some one company running one app on a phone versus the entire consumer, which has all the SIM card and you have all the location data and, and the demographics of the consumer. So the telcos have to start thinking about monetizing it in a more active and promote. And I think Bridge Alliance and the team is doing a great job in thinking on those lines and coming up those use cases. Um, coming back to 5G, I think 5G is a is a revelation, and we are now able to uh, you know do multiple, uh, we are evaluating multiple use cases, but most importantly, you know, when we talk about smart manufacturing, when we look at uh, automation at the production floor in, uh, you know, measuring the critical process parameters in difficult environments, mm. I think having a, a 5G empowered edge becomes very, very critical mm. and becomes one of the best ways to deliver that, right? Mm. Similarly, if we look at, uh, our, our, we have a massive supply chain uh, to deliver our products to our consumers. Mm. Our trucks, our warehouses, our invent, you know, they're constantly on move to track them uh, and to make sure they are, you know, they are being d executed in the right way and maximize the, the value of, the, of, the, of that supply chain. And another 5G uh, place is there. We use a lot of 5G technologies to start doing AR and VR, mm. uh, where we have, uh, equipments installed in our factories, which were serviced from uh, remote, you know, from engineers remotely during the pandemic time because people couldn't travel. Right. But we could use, uh, you know, simple uh, VR technologies to take instructions remotely from engineers and and and, and still service the equipments which are installed in other parts of the world. Mm. So there are there are a lot of places where 5G can become uh, immensely useful to the business. One of the use cases we are exploring in our one of our markets is we are taking away all the back back-end network, so the redundant network, right. and moving at 5G as our backup network. Wow. So you look at your primary network, which is of course wired connections and uh, lease lines and all of the, all the good stuff, but we, we say we don't need to have two sets of uh, connectivity. We can actually run on one 5G leg and one wired connection. So there's so many ways in which 
uh, all these innovations coming together. Mm -hmm. And what it's empowering the, the business is to think differently mm -hmm. and you know, attach that 5G technology to the lower cost of sensors, mm -hmm. the wide variety of choices of our PLCs and, 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 and our uh, automation partners. Uh, it's just become so powerful. It kind mm -hmm. of amplifies their impact to the business uh, from that perspective. Right. And, and there's a lot of experimentation going on right now. There's, uh, there's still needs to be some more standardization across multi-market 5G uh, mm. uh, technologies for enterprises at our scale to take full benefit of it. And we are looking forward to it and we have discussed it in our uh, multiple earlier conversations as well. Just like how we did with the mobile world, with the data roaming, voice roaming, uh, and interconnectivity between operators. I think we have to f start figuring out ways to interconnect our 5G mm -hmm. capabilities as well, uh, at least standardize it, right. and, and allow the enterprises to consume it at scale across right. boundaries, across telco boundaries. Yep. So yeah. that's, I that's think the future. <coughs> yeah, I think that's really interesting. And that's where we see Breach Alliance playing a key Absolutely. role, right? by bringing all our member operators together, harmonizing solutions yes. across the region, and working alongside uh, key partners and enterprise customers like yourself. Absolutely. I mean, I've been involved with Bridge Alliance for now <laughs> almost five years. Yes. <laughs> and I've been always surprised that whenever we, whenever we come to Bridge Alliance as an, uh, and bring a business problem to it, I always get the right support from the team. Thank you. And we find solutions to make it work, right? To have a common mobility plan for a whole of Asia Pacific region. Right. It's not simple. I mean, there are countries at different levels of infrastructure, different levels of cost structures. Right. To harmonize all of that, but Bridge Alliance came up, came forward with it, and and solved it for us, which allowed our team to do mobile first right. initiatives and and kind of go on to mobile platforms. Right. So I I think Bridge Alliance has a huge value to add, and I'm glad that uh, you're leading it and you're Thank taking you. us towards to the towards that. Thanks. Thanks, Vicky. Thanks for joining us today not in our Be in Conversation series. Sure. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Very good talking to you.